Hey, welcome back to uh, Shadowgate VR, The Minds of Mythrock. I'm Dave Marsh again. And uh, sorry, it's taken a while to get another video out. I had been sick, <clears throat> but I'm still sick, but I uh, have to do a video. So uh, I just saved the game. We're in the dark halls, which is room six. And um, we are introducing these slots here. You're not exactly sure what they're uh, what they're for, but Adam did a great job with this. This this is kind of our first kind of real dungeony bit um, as far as like a maze goes. Uh, and right there, you just saw that, that there's something on the ground there, a trap. And so um, see that, you know, there's something up there, a skeleton. Poor guy got kind of an homage to Indiana Jones there. So I'm going to uh, move over that trap. We've got some three halls here. So <clears throat> let's go see what's uh, at the uh, at the first hall. I'll call Odin over. And uh, and then look, and looks like we've got uh, four pedestals here. Uh, looks like something has to go in them. So this is going to be a, a, a new key-like puzzle. Um, and uh, I don't think we can do anything else here. You can see that there's a plasma. Um, you know, emitter on both sides. So uh, I got to be careful of those because we've seen those before in the last room. <laughs> so we're going to go, uh, since that way is locked, let's go over there and look though. And and there's another, uh, obviously I can't get through the door and there's another slot right there. So, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, obviously I need to go somewhere else first. So going to continue to dodge things. You can see, I think that slot goes to that uh, trap, but uh, dodge that trap in the middle of the, the floor. Call Odin over. Obviously, we can't go I that way. Like two things um, greatly. The chance but, of a uh, monster and but oh, there's another uh, I find another uh, dwarven or So I think I mentioned this um, in room three that you know, or maybe room two, room three, um, that we added these later um, to add some information about why are the dwarves not in um, Mythrock. And uh, and so we did these Four dwarf years. missives, uh, these messages that they could leave for each other. So we're starting to piece together some of the information least, about what happened and what did they find me. in the Western Tunnel that we learned in room three. And so uh, and this was uh, this was from some fun voiceover. Stand. Found an artist in the UK that could do a great, um, I guess, uh, you know, Scottish voice. Uh, just just a blast. Um, so uh, he did uh, a great job. Um, so we watched that, so that was good. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and go down the hall um, that we still can pet Odin. Thank I always you. love petting Odin. I He's got about 20, 25 favor, things you can say. If either you, you pet know, him or you shoot him, no he says different things, but he's a ghost raven, so you can't hurt him. Uh, I've learned that uh, blowing things up is uh, important. So uh, I'm gonna blow up this banner and behind it some gold and, uh, and potion, healing potion, uh, and that's good. And then notice that, um, oh, yep. Healing potion. Um, there's a, another dead guy on the ground there, and um, there is uh, something I can see there. But you know, one of the things you can use, you can use Odin, Odin vision to find important things. So you can see there was something there. So it looks like a lever, might, and it's all designed, you know, as that's the key lever to the slots. So to get me past the doors. So you can notice that this door is different. Uh, you can see the walls here are three-dimensional, but this is, almost looks like wallpaper, and so um, that's a hidden door. Odin can find it as well. well Plasma behind it. Now, uh, as I was recording this, um, I, uh, I did a terrible job <laughs> going down the hall, and so, uh, you know, I've got my shield and everything, but uh, for some reason, I, I just I, I just get it getting hit. So. I died, and uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to uh, remake the video I up to this point, so I'm just, I had already, of course, saved mm. the game um, well, at the beginning, so I'm just going to go and not? do all the same things, you grab the, apparently defy death. the lever, um, shoot this, uh, get the, the bits out of here, um, and I'll save the game soon. But here, I'm going to go ahead and go through this door again, bring up my shield. And uh, this time, go down the hall. Okay, got to be careful right away because uh, we're going to bring in these new monsters. Uh, we just come slugs, and it takes two hits. And um, I'll talk a little bit more about those in a bit. But I'm just going to dodge this and head out into uh, I'll call it Odin over and head out into this area. Yes. So yes. Uh, it's just Can a big cavern, big, uh, just really fun. Ed did a great job on this, and uh, we introduced these falling platforms here. And so uh, you could actually go one at a time um but i i do, i do every other one so if i wanted to i could go back and go back to those um yep as soon as you land here you can call some of these uh, mouth flying mouth monsters no real name for them other than that 
and then we've got this uh, this this pedestal, and you can see I can see my my gauntlet in the mirror. Um, I can see that there's a key here, and also I can see some other rune, but I I can't see it here in the in real life, but in the mirror I could see it, and so I just grab where I think it is. Now I could take these rocks back, but instead I'm going to show you that you can um, if you if you took all the rocks all the way across, all the falling rocks all the way across, you can still get back by um, going on these ropes and ladders. So I'm showing you here that uh, this is the first time that we introduced climbing, two uh, something number really one, important uh, in the game. Uh, we don't use it a ton, two, but we do use it in important number situations. One. Um, we have a wraith room coming up um, near the end of the game uh, that uh, climbing is really important, but it's kind of fun. So I'm gonna go down here because I saw a treasure but um, coming down here triggers some mouth monsters to come shoot me, so you gotta be careful. Uh, take them out. And then uh, down here was um, I'm gonna go ahead and open my inventory, grab a key, and uh, it's important because this is uh, this is a really nice uh, potion, healing potion. If I wanted to use that, so go ahead and climb back up and work my way back up to the top. Um, I could go back you know, the other side and take the falling rocks over, but I'm pretty close to um, where I need to be <clears throat> to get over. I'm gonna quickly teleport over and I'm there. So I see up ahead, there's a save slot. So I'm gonna go do that. Before I do that, I know that there's another slug monster here. So I'm gonna kill him. So save the game. The other thing about monsters is if you're in combat, you can't save the game, something important. Um, you know, you just can't, you can't save the game. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, and uh, I'm going to go back down. And now I've done a full circle uh, all the way around. Um, I'm going to call Odin over. Um, and I can see that there's another lever on the ground. But again, what I'm going to do is I can see here that there's a lever already in a slot that opens this up. So it tells me use levers in slots. But if I use Odin Vision, you can see if I look back, um, there's something there and it's another lever. So I got the two levers that I need for this level. So there they are. One, two. Um, so I'm done with this side of, of the uh, of this particular Dark Halls dungeon, Pet Odin. Did I mention that you can ask um, me for a hint? Got myself turned around a bit, uh, well, and that's over there to the right is where I came in and I any. saved the game. That's where I came in from. From so save early and often. There's no reason not to save the game. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in this first lever, and oh, well, that's a good thing I brought that trap down because there is a a rune key that I'm gonna need. Remember, I saw four four pedestals up ahead and that's going to go in one of them so now i have i have two i have one that i picked up in the, the cavern earlier and one that i just picked up over on that trap and here's where i'm going to put the second lever put it in here open the door and off i go into the other side of this particular dark halls i've got my shield ready because there's some plasma beams so coming at me now Here's another one of these slug monsters, and sometimes when they scream, they call another slug monster, and so that's what uh, we should call him Slugworth. That's a fun name after uh, the character from Willy Wonka. So here I've gone ahead and shown that there's another one of these hidden walls, and if you look through Odin Vision, he can see it, but also it looks, you know, like wallpaper. So, so Odin's excited <laughs> that, that I found uh, a way I in here. Spell. And I call Odin well, into every room, into done. every pedestal, because you never know what he's going to see. Looks like a plasma thing up there. Of course, I can't destroy it. But I'm going to go ahead and go into Odin Vision and see what he sees in this room, because it's important to know. So there's a there's a rune on that other wall. There's a circle there that tells me there's an object. And I, I don't know if you saw off to the right, there was a, a skull and crossbones. So I want to be careful of that. I know that the plasma thing might shoot at me, and it does, so I put up my shield, and I go across the... Now here it's interesting, um, yeah, I want that, uh, you know, potion, and you can see there's a key and another rune, um, but I'm not going to take the book, because it'll kill me. And I, and I saw that in Odin Vision, there was a skull and crossbones. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to this other side. Um, as you see, uh, where I did see, oh, I could call up these, these uh, stones again, shoot above the door. But I did see that there was something in Odin Vision over here. Up, oh, and it's a big key, and this is a key to exit the door. So I would go ahead and use this to leave the game, so it's good. If I didn't get the key, I can always come back and get it. And there it is, right in my inventory. 
So I'm going to hop across these and go back to where I came from. And uh, the plasma is back in business, but uh, I don't have to worry about it. I've learned to shoot everything, and here I am going ahead and shooting, uh, <clears throat> you know, the uh, the the uh, ban <laughs> tapestry. And uh, if I go to the other side, there is my fourth rune key. So I'm going to want to use that, and uh, let's head back to where those four um, pedestals are. So I'm going to go through the uh, thing here, dodging this, and oh, whoop, using my shield. And then uh, this one already has a. Uh, was there anything behind that? No. This one already has a um, a lever in it, and open it up. And as soon as I walk through, there's going to be a mouth monster. Now I could use the shield like this to to stop him, but I can just kind of go back and forth. He's, but I can hit him before he starts firing. I'm good to go. So I'm going to go back to the to where I, I started, and I'm going to save the game because that's what you do. Um, wait for it to tell me it's saved, and then I'm going to head on over with my four keys, dodging that trap, and I'm going to put them in and see what they do. So this first key, I'm going to go ahead and put in this first uh, slot, and it closed the plasma bolt. Second key, looks like it brings up uh, some. Uh, some floating pedestals and the third key here goes ahead and it opens this door that's uh, the exit and then this one will go ahead and close up oh, and grab it we'll go ahead and close this other um button. now if for some reason i've got across here and didn't get the key you can see that above the door i can go ahead and call those stones back up and that's pretty cool and so uh, I'm pretty much near the end of this level. I can destroy some stuff. I'll call Odin over because there's an Odin vision thing we do here, which is kind of exciting. Um, right there, uh, you'll see it in a second. I'll call Odin over. And he was he was way in the dungeon. I'm going to go into Odin vision. And you can see to the right of Odin there, there's something against the wall. So um, I've seen this before in room three. I'm going to go ahead and touch that. It'll open up that pedestal and give me a key. I can use that key right away if I so choose on this uh, this chest. And uh, there you go. Got some uh, extra coins. And I can blow up some uh, some other stuff and get some more coins. Of course, use the coins to go to the gold shop and customize Odin or your shield or uh, your wand. Um, and now I'm pretty much done with this level. I'm going to go ahead and grab the key that I picked up earlier, which I saw in Odin Vision, put it in, and I'm heading into the forge, which I will talk about uh, soon. Thanks so much for joining me. Take care.